alrighty, so this will be a full commentary on uh, Diamond 1 Fiddlesticks on my main account and ranked mode. So, um, yeah. Let's see. So, actually, Nidalee's doing one of those uh, blue buff cheese where she teleports and then wards it. I think, yeah. And then she's just gonna, well, you know, she's gonna spear it when he's gonna do it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, so. Um, shit, I guess I'm missing a lot of early game, but anyways, at least got pulled, blah blah blah, and someone put a ward, the enemy put a ward here, um, yeah, <clears throat> nothing much happens except our Elise burned a flash. <clears throat> um, alright, so, Fiddlesticks is, eh, <clears throat> so Fiddlesticks, his level 1 is, is pretty good since he can poke with E, but after that, well, actually, the lane is kind of good since it's against a Blitzcrank, and like if I get pulled, I just I just instantly fear Fiddle. I mean, uh, Ezreal. And like right now, um, <clears throat> yeah. So I, I I think of the matchup, and all I have to do is auto attack Blitz if he gets in range, or if I oh so yeah, they are actually in this bush, so I ward it, and I want to get it like a double proc on the Dark Wind so they get a, a few harass. And I take some harass. <coughs> so yeah, basically they have no poke because Ezreal. It's really easy. Oh well, I guess I get hit by it. It's really easy if you just hide behind your own minions. But anyways, yeah. But usually fiddle attack's range on it is like pretty low, and it's got base damage is pretty low too. So his auto attacks don't really hurt, but it's still range, so it's pretty good. Um, so here, here we hit level two. This is where they have to back off, and well. Yeah, now we have lane control because of this, because you're level 2 and hit level 2 faster. Um, let's see, so yeah, I mean, this matchup is pretty easy, as long as we dodge hooks, and it's really easy, switching this. So yeah, just give him a few harass with Vayne, and yeah. Not much of a laning phase, but <clears throat> I have spoken of... I, I spoke to Cole MIA, or wait, Complexity MIA, and we, he says that most people don't know how to play Fiddlesticks, and I'm like, oh, it's so easy, and I t and we talked about uh, the mindset of, of how you play Fiddlesticks, and we agreed, like, you don't, in team fights, the only t you never really want to ultimate, unless you're like, on the offense and trying to chase them, like, because if you ultimate in a team fight, you're going to die, and your ultimate doesn't do that much damage. Like, your level's, like, what? You're gonna be level 6, everyone's gonna be level, like, 9, 10. Actually, well, you're level, okay, let's say you're level 11, and everyone's gonna be level 16, right? Your <laughs> ultimate doesn't do that much damage. Plus, you have the chance of dying, and the utility you bring from fear is, like, gone, since you died. And, like, you're not Leona or Alistair. Oh, this is where we kind of go ham. Because she gets a condemn, and then I try to flash fear. I fuck, I actually don't think I was in range, but anyways... Yeah, so I try and chain my CC with the fear. Once I see that the fear is gone, I try and exhaust. Our vein dies from the tower somehow. Um, shit, I don't even know how, but yeah, so I'm like, okay, whatever. And I stay because one, I have pots. Two, I don't actually fear Nasus that much. I can just fear him and walk, run away. Um, and well, I just want, I'll probably get some levels, and I'm just gonna try and last hit. And yeah, just get a big uh, level boost over the enemy if I can. Um, um, so we actually, so Mid actually gets a kill, and so that's pretty good. But um, what was I gonna say? Something about fiddle. Something. Oh, I was supposed to say something about fiddle. Oh yeah, you never get a point in drain. It's really useless. Um, as you can level E, and the cooldown on it goes uh, less. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I think one big point is I'll sh I'll show you in a bit, but you want to chain your. F it's really easy. Fiddle is actually really easy to me, um, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain your crowd control. So like I I think I try and engage on him. I think I do. One sec. Blah blah blah. Oh yeah, so you want to ward that because Blitz, Blitz, uh, oh, this is good. 
but then we, I, but then I don't have, I don't have, um, sorry, I don't have my fear. The fear range is really low, so that's why I can do, I can change uh, crowd control. So yeah, you want to fear, and then you'll see that little bar with the crowd control meter on it, and it's like, um, you'll see the bar with the crowd control, and then that's when you, then right when it's about to expire, that's when you throw your uh, dark wind, so you can, so they're gonna be silenced right after they're stunned, and then it's like, it's like a four second silence and a three second stun if you're all maxed out, and depending on the bounces. So here, this is like, so at least we see Elise is coming. Um, I'm pretty sure there was no warden this one, but I do know, but I'm just gonna, I don't know if there was a warden this one, I don't remember, but anyways, yeah, so, yeah. So he ignites me, we gotta kill, um, yeah, so I don't remember, I don't think there was a warden this push, but I remember, I don't even know if there's a warden this one, but I just put a vision ward anyways, just in case, because I knew Elise is coming, and, is it, so I almost die here, but fuck, I know I can just fear once and get out before dying, or anything, maybe she had ignite. And well, oh boy, that was scary. And here I just come for backup, but I'm like, what I'm looking for is Ezreal's Mystic Shot or Spirit Fire from from Nasus. Once I see a Spirit Fire is down, I can actually go back in without dying. Oh wow, she actually hit the spear. And yeah, and I don't know, I just ult because uh, I don't know, <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> And here I'm thinking, let's get their blue. Or my team's thinking, let's get their blue. I'm like, eh, eh, I don't, I don't wanna. I don't have any wards, so I don't wanna come. And I'll just recall. <clears throat> so let's see, what, what did we miss? I guess Ari came. I almost died, but at least landed cocoon. And then I, once I saw that, I saw the crowd control bar. That and I knew I could fear her. Without, uh, you know, dying, I guess. Yeah. So, basically, so everything's pretty fed. So, we actually win this lane also because, I don't know, Blitzkane's really useless, in my opinion. Especially in lane, if you can't land hooks, then it's like, oh. So, yeah, just throw that, blah, blah, blah. Hide behind minions so Ezreal can't really poke me. If he wants to auto me, I think I get a free fear on him. So I think he has to worry about that. And then you see, yeah, right there. Right there, that's when I uh, Q or I fear. I don't know. I actually don't know how Arcane shifted. I silenced him right after, but I have no idea. So right here, I get caught. I know I have to exhaust him or else I'm going to die. And then right here, oh boy, I know I have to flash that. <coughs> or else I would have died. I knew that I have I yeah. I knew that once I got hooked I had to exhaust him and then change CC him and then I had to and then once I saw he cleansed, that's when it's like, oh I gotta get out of here. So I'm like so he wants to go in blitz. I don't think blitz can it blitz is that stupid to get caught. It's like no way. And then yeah, so we're just gonna proxy farm so they lose a lot of minions and lose all this farm here. Um, I should honestly ward that bush right here in this corner, but I don't, I don't know. Like, Ari is, ro Ari is missing, but we don't know. And here, Vayne goes ham. And, oh, oh, I see Ezreal. Time to get out. And then I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at Ezreal, so. I'm looking at Ezreal's ult, so that's what I was expecting. Um, I guess, and I knew it wouldn't hit me. So, I just go back. So Vayne does golems, and I'm pretty smart of her, I think, because because the the minions are pushing on us. So I mean, she's not gonna lose a lot, maybe like one minion, but I'll get it, I guess. And yeah, I don't know. I actually know what I was doing. I think I was just freezing it or something. I alt tapped or something. I have no idea. Why is there so much lag? I should honestly turn off something, but... <laughs> yeah, I guess we're just gonna... F yeah, so Vayne wants to freeze it. And, um... Me? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. This is good. Freeze, um, so they're zoned from getting CS. Because 
not even scared of Blitz anymore, so I got tons of hit point. And yeah, if he pulls me, then I fear Ezreal, and then and then we and then Vayne just goes ham. So I guess oh, this laning phase is getting boring. I kind of explained the laning phase already, so I'm just gonna ward. Oh, oh crap! I guess okay. So Ari tries to gank, and I'm like, okay, I want to get in there, so I want to gank. And here, I, I pretend I'm going left, but I actually juked it down, so he thinks I'm going that way. And then, yeah, now he actually doesn't know where I went, and then I escape. But unfortunately, Vayne dies. Vayne almost actually killed Ari and Blitz and whatever. So I actually looked like at Ezreal. I actually thought that was going to hit me. Yeah, so like, yeah, I already know. I already think of everything that could come in. I always, I always, I've always been sniped by Ezreal, so I always think about that. Every time an Ezreal is in game, is that I might get sniped, and yeah. So I don't know. I guess I kind of skipped that gank, but anyways, I ulted in. Thought we could like two two v three, um, and then I got bursted out like a ton. And I was like, oh okay, no, this is not good, and so I just backed away. So yeah, this is a. Uh, so I see that. I pretend I don't think he's there. I see him. Um, so we're just gonna go ham on him. He gets. A, he gets. I'm just gonna tank the tower. I'm gonna exhaust him. I'm not gonna go in all the way because I know Ezreal might want to burst me out. So I'm just gonna tank the tower from there and back out when I can, or back out when I'm low, and then yeah, just tank the tower a bit. So here's Riven. Um, I'm just gonna try and chain CC her so she doesn't kill me or kill any of us. And then yeah, and then yeah, well you know I die because like if she flashes on me, then what can I do? If she didn't have flash, I probably would have lived. But if she did, and if I had flash, I probably would live too, unless she had ignite. But she didn't. Um. But yeah, if I just fear, I know I can just get in range of fear of Riven, and then she'd be done. <clears throat> she'd be done, and then I just kite her out until my next fear is up, and then yeah, just basically when my skills are up, I'll just go back in. But once my skills aren't, that's when I back away. And yeah, so like obviously, if I if I even crow stormed into her, I'd probably insta die because I know my ulti does zero, like zero damage. I just use the ultimate as a gap closer and to, and to teleport over walls. I don't even care that, uh, I don't, <laughs> I just, it, see, it doesn't really, it does some damage, but it's like, eh, it still does, actually, it did a lot of damage, that, but I, it's still like, I don't know. And then I die because, because I thought we could get Riven, but. I guess not. Um, so I tried making. I made a play on Ezreal. We got him, and then we're, and I thought we could get Riven for free, but apparently not, because her whole team was there. Her whole team was there, so whatever. But yeah, anyways, I just just think of using your ultimate if, since you're support. You don't do damage unless you're Sona. Um, just think of it using as a gap closer. And like later in this game, I'll show you like use it as escape too. Oh, you'll see, you'll see, glories of fun. So this game's pretty face row. Let's be honest. Just change crowd control. Uh, I think Nidalee fucked up and went in to the right. And just keep chasing him. He's basically dead. My fear is coming up in one second. And then, uh, and then, but I miss it apparently because he hides in the bush. So, <clears throat> yeah. All right. So this is kind of a the only team fight we'll actually have. Um, my reaction time is actually pretty on par. If I can see Blitz. Um, yeah. So, 2v3. Oh boy. Don't wanna. Probably wanna get out of this. Now it's 3v3. Because Nidalee's here. And so, since we're on offense and chase, you might as well ult in just to get some uh, whatever but of course I'm gonna flash out because I don't know what, what else 
I don't know what I got hit by, probably, and I thought Ezreal's uh, key was up or something. So I'm just gonna flash out. And then Nasty comes around the corner. And I'm like, oh, 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 and there's no safe place except because he's got tenacity and I gotta stay with my team now. So they can support me and I won't die from Nasus 1v1. Oh, well, I probably will because he's got tenacity. So, oh shit, he flashes onto me. But, oh, right when I see him, I don't. I see that. Oh, right when I see him, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta fear him and run the fuck out. So, Vayne, go ham. Vayne, go ham. Uh, nothing happens. Well, actually, she dies. That's something. So, nothing that I don't. We want to go here. I don't think they're going to fight. So I'm just going to go top and uh, try and get the tower down. And of course wave clear. Try and wave clear it about. I get hit by Ezreal. Thank god does zero damage. Because yeah. if he was level 11, he probably would have done something. <coughs> so. Here, they go in Akali. You know, I'm still going to support her. I have to dodge Ezreal Q. I have to dodge Nasus Spirit Fire. Actually, I don't think the Nasus Spirit Fire will hit me. Kill me. But I know I'm just gonna try and like fuck with him a bit. Try and bait him to get on me. Run. <laughs> and then yeah, you know, get out. I mean he can't really do anything if he doesn't have uh like what I just think if he don't he, he can only melee me and try and get around me. Other than that he has no range skills to kill me, except spear fire, but it won't kill me because it's a bit weak right now. Or well I have too much hit point. <coughs> And then, yeah, so Vayne came, so, we, so whatever. And then we go ham on Baron, because we get really cocky. And we think we can do it. Which, which we do. Oh, sorry, I don't, I don't. My team does it. Uh, you'll see. No, so no pinks or anything. So, yeah, pretty risk. If Riven ults, if Riven ulted, <laughs> if Riven ulted, if Riven ulted and got an ult, It'd be GG for us and be a harder game, but there we get it. Um, so yeah, I got Spirit Stone or no, Sight Stone, and then I got Mikhail's because I don't, I don't know. Shuri is, sucks. Mikhail's is like probably the better, better, but because it gives a lot of okay, it gives hit point. It gives hit point to someone, and it, and heals are super cool, and also a few QSS. So Van Gogh Ham again, he dies. Um, blah 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 blah. Um, I think this is where I show you to use Fiddle's ult like an escape. It, it does damage, but it's like, I don't know. It's only 1,050, and it puts you in melee range of the enemy team. And you don't want to be jumping like that. So, see? I see it's a, I'm see it's a 2v4, so I'm getting the fuck out. So, I'm going to leave Vayne, and I'm just going to ditch her. So, I thought it was a 2v4, so I'm like, no, I don't want to go in. But I'm still assisting Elise, and I want to. I know that Riven's super fucking fed, so I want to fear her instead of Ari, because I know she's gonna do more shit than uh, Ari for sure. Shit, this Nelly teleports so much in. So here we go. So I see that Blitz was caught out, and I can flash over the wall and fear her, fear him, 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 or her, whatever. Um. Because I see my team could catch up and get that pick off. And then, yeah, we take the tower. Now I take the tower. I don't actually remember this part, but, yeah. We get the tower. We're going to back out. I know I can fear Riven again. And just crowd control her. Uh, and, oh, I use my Kyle's on myself because I don't like her. And then I drain her because, I don't know how, my skills aren't even up. And then, here's Ezreal. Oh, boy. Oh boy, I do. Oh boy, but Ezreal, yeah. Ezreal got no damage yet, and <clears throat> yeah, Ezreal got no damage, so he can't kill me. Now, I have to fear Nasus Spirit Fire and Blitzcrank's grab slash uh, static field, so I can't get in melee range until no. Like, there's no point in me getting melee range because um his static field could oh uh, kill me, so I don't want to die from that. And here I just go back to supporting my team. And pretty sure. Yeah, we get it. <clears throat> oh. So, like here. I, I knew I could live, but she has ignite. So it's like, oh. 
So I didn't know she had. So if she didn't have a knight, I probably would have lived and just kited her. But yeah, she got a knight. So I die. So here I want to get Ari, but I see my team's out there, so I'm not gonna actually ult in and try and get her. So like, yeah, remember I use ult to hop over walls and like. You know, fear people. It's like a free flash to me, but you get to charge up the flash. That's what it is to me. Um, so yeah. Um, we see that Nidalee's gonna try and get caught. These guys wanna, like, yeah, in high and low, you wanna try and catch people and make people throw. And we j fiddle, good at catching other people. So yeah, I'm just like trying to not be in melee range with Riven, because I know. <laughs> I know that Riven can fuck me up if I'm in melee range, so I just try and get my ulti damage on her, but, <clears throat> you know, woo! And yeah, I guess it's almost game over, so I don't know, the game was pretty face real. I wish there was some more team fights, but the only thing we did was like 3v3s and 4v2s and stuff like that. And, and yeah, it was, it was kind of face real, so. I, I honestly wish I, I picked the other game. It was pretty, it had more team fights and shit. It was pretty more closer, but um, this is the only game. But it, I didn't record the last game, so yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, remember, Svedo, you want to <clears throat> you want to try and survive, and so you can use your utility with your Q and E or the fear and the crow storm, and you know <clears throat> just live throughout the team fight and don't ultimate in team fights unless you're on the offensive and trying to chase people down. Or use the ultimate to get out of uh, sticky situations. All right, so that's the end of this fiddle stick support. And yeah, I hope you guys learned a lot. Uh, not to die as fiddle and how much plays you can make, as and not to feed in lane as fiddle because I I see that sometimes, or I used to see that. But yeah. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment anything that you liked or didn't like or whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,